Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. Today, y'all, I'm having some fun with it again. I'm going to be making some sweet potato chili. Yes, first time making it. Uh, I looked at a couple of recipes. Um, a lot of people did it a different way. Um, some roasted their potatoes and then added them to the uh, their pot. Some baked them, some stir fried them around a little bit and then added it. But I'm just putting my own taste on it, uh, whatever, my own style. And so this is what I got. I wanted to show y'all what I have. So over in this pot, I'm going to be putting my uh, ingredients in over here with the onions and celery and sliced carrots. Um, then I have my tomato sauce. I wanted two cans of the uh, diced tomatoes with green chow in them. I have my um, tomato paste. And let me see what else. My seasonings. My onion powder, sea salt, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, my sprinkled 24 herbs and spices. Over here I have my um, green peppers, green, yellow, and red peppers. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to put those, I, I, I diced these up, y'all. I, I had um, froze these, as a matter of fact. And um, I pulled them back out and let them thaw it out a little bit. But in here I have my garlic and my mushrooms, because I'm going to be grinding those up. And I have my... Um, Potatoes. Now, I'm not going to be using all these potatoes. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough because Tina and Terrell may go ahead and spice these up a little bit and throw them in an the air fryer because all of this is not going in a chili. I'm going to use some of it, y'all. Okay. And then over here, uh, these beans, um, these beans went in the slow cooker all night. Red beans, white beans, and black beans. I ain't want nobody thinking I was uh, being racist. That was a joke. Okay. Anyway, so... <laughs> Now I'm going to go over here and I probably won't be using all these beans either despite because I really don't want my chili to be, you know, beanish more than anything. You know what I'm saying? So, but everything that's in this going to be going in this pot is going to be transferred over in this pot. So I may take some of these beans out, y'all. But as I go, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so right now, like I said, in here is the mushrooms and the uh, garlic, which makes it easier for me. Go ahead and push that button. And like I said, I'm not really satisfied with the size of those. I'm going to try them in here. I just want to be a little bit more, you know, choppy. I hope I don't purr in. Oh, good enough. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. How did that turn out? Let's see. Okay, I guess. I feel you. I see. I see. Okay. So that's my ingredients. I'm probably not going to use all these onions and celery either, but... I just feel like, you know, it's just going to make that chili pop. Whatever. I got my avocado oil. I'm going to be turning on this pot. Okay, so I have my avocado oil in the pot. And I'm going to go ahead with the big dogs first. Yeah. Everything in these bowls right here. Try to make this easy on me as possible. I'm going to go ahead and since these have been drained... I really, like I said, I don't want a whole bunch. I'm not using all of these. I'll rinse these back off. Container Terrell can, uh, you know, make them crispy and put them over in that air fryer. Put them, make them crispy, man. That'll be good. I say that's about enough for that chili. I don't want to really overdo it. Okay. And, um, I'm just going to go ahead and stir these around. So about maybe, I don't know, maybe seven minutes. I'll tell you all, since those have been cooking like for seven minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and add my bell pepper, mushroom and garlic, onion, carrot, celery. I'll go ahead and use it. Okay, then I'm going to season it with Italian herb seasoning. I don't measure nothing, I know. Garlic powder. 
this powder, you can do what you want with it. Onion powder, powder. Sprinkle 24 herbs and spices. And I'm going to be adding my sea salt, but I can't do that and hold the camera too. So, so got my sea salt in there now. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this around in the pot and mix all my spices up with my vegetables. This smells so good, y'all. This smells so good. It looks good, too. I ain't going to cook this too long because I don't want my uh, potatoes to be mushy. Even though I want them soft, I don't want them mushy. So, they still got to go in that pot of beans and cook. So, yeah. Okay, so, I know I got smart in the head and brought my uh, tripod over here. Guess what? I forgot to put you all the main ingredient. The main seasoning. My chili powder. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We don't want to do that. Want to get the chili powder in there. And also, I want to switch. I think this was too harsh on my... Mm, that smells so good. Get out the way. That smells so good. Alright. Oh my god, that smells awesome. Okay. So, y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I like a little sweet chili a little bit. So I got the aguava. I'm gonna pour a little bit. Well, squirt full over in it. Oh yeah, I think I'm bad now, y'all. I think I'm bad. <laughs> I'm gonna add my tomato paste, but before I add my tomato paste, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some chicken broth. I mean, not chicken broth, whoa. Vegetable broth. Just the, uh, yeah, no. Look at that. Yeah, vegetable broth. I don't want enough because it's like I said, it's going over in the chili anyway. And also, I remember last time it was popping me. So we're gonna turn this down because yeah. That's about how much I want. If y'all only knew how good this smells. Here's my tomato paste. I wish this pot was you know this pot may be big enough to go ahead and transfer those beans over in it. Because I really don't feel like switching the pot. I, I, I really like this pot. I really do. Um, this pot is my friend. I'm sitting down, y'all. I got leg bothering me if I stand too long on it in one spot. So I'm going go ahead and I'm going to stir that around. Get that off the side of there. That paste over in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my. Raggedy Ann just made a mud pie. How many of y'all remember that Raggedy Ann book? Oh my God, y'all, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. So now that I got that paste all mixed up in there the way I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes and green chives. I'm gonna go ahead and put that other can and a Tupperware bowl, and I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator because I feel like I don't need two cans of that. Okay, I do need all my vegetable broth because I need all of that. Because, I, like I said, I want chili, but I don't want it soupy, but I don't want it to, you know, be like a, you know, thick either, real thick, you know. I want it really kind of like about like this, but when I go to transfer these beans, y'all, we gonna see how uh, see how it happens when I go to transferring them beans. Bean transfer, bling 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 bling. Like I said, you know what? I ain't got it. This gonna work. I, I feel like this gonna work. Like I said, y'all, I'm not gonna use all these beans. These beans went in the slow cooker. These also too can go in the baggie and go in the freezer. Okay, my black beans, red beans, and white beans all went in a slow cooker last night because they were. Not in the dang Reba. I think it's how much I want to. They were not in the can. Uh, they were in the bag, and um, I'm trying not to really, you know, I ain't got I got a whole cabinet 
full of beans and I'm like, okay, so let me get away from the can a little bit. You know what I'm saying? See how that looks so far? Look at that. Okay. But I think I'm going to add some more beans because, you know, ain't nothing wrong with the beans. Ain't nothing wrong with them beans. Girl, eat them beans. Hold on, let me make sure I don't want to overdo it. Like I said, I always say I don't over, want to do some, overdo something. Then I turn around and I overdo it. Okay. Now, look at that. I like my chili about like this. And instead of some crackers, pretending like where did, we got the crackers, right? I'm like, uh, sweetheart, you can get some black bean crackers. I'm pretty sure they got other kinds of crackers, but I got those little, uh, you know, those for the salad toppings or whatever. I got, um, the little tortillas, uh, chip, uh, strips. And, um, so this is about how this chili is going to look. Like I said, the rest of this open can of, uh, oh, hold on y'all. I forgot. I probably don't even need it. Y'all. I opened up this can of tomato sauce. I don't know if I need it. Ah. Uh. I got my paste in there. I got my tomato. Ah, since it's open, go ahead. So I ain't gonna hurt you. Okay. My tomato sauce. That pan is, the pan, I mean, this pot is just right. This pot is just right. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and add my more garlic seasoning to it. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm so sick of hearing that doggone garlic and onion powder. She be getting on my nerves with that. I know. I know. I know. I'm getting me some more of this uh, Bragg's uh, 24 Urge, y'all. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Italian seasoning. Seasaw, 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 seasaw. And I'm not gonna add any more chili powder because I feel like I already got my little packet in there. So that's how I'm doing it. Um, I feel like since I added that um, tomato sauce, it kind of made it a little bit, uh, I had it perfect before I put the tomato sauce in it, you know? And um, it's making me want to go ahead and, ah, that's gonna overflow the pot. I'm gonna ease them in there. So now it's only really a little bowl of these to go in the refrigerator. And you know, I can do that another way, another, another day. I could put them in a the freezer, I could pull them out, y'all, and I can make some uh, vegan gravy over some beans. I can do that too. Put a little rice with it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now that's back where I want it to be. And this is gonna slowly cook, y'all until at least um, the beans, like I said, are already in, was in a slow cooker, but I really want my um, sweet potatoes to bite right into. I don't want them mushy, but I want you be able to bite into them and they're not hard. So I want to taste this sauce so bad, but I'm not going to taste it until um, uh, I'm in front of the camera. Okay, so here's all this, what you call sweet potato chili, vegan goodness. Look at all that. I did switch the pot, you all, because uh, those beans that I was gonna put in the refrigerator, I'm like, no, I just, I'm just gonna go ahead and add all the beans, and uh, because this could be meal prepped, and then if not, you know, most of it I could put, you know, and freeze, I can freeze it, you know what I'm saying? But there's some good chili. Um, the potatoes look good and yummy. They're soft, and uh, I'm just gonna scoop some in this bowl, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Okay. Well, oh my goodness, look at that. And it smells good too. Again, I added a little agua more aguava sweetener in it. Because, you know, sometimes I like my chili a little bit sweet. Even though it's spicy. Like, you know, chili should be. Go ahead and just give me one of these good old restaurant bowls. My mama gave me these bowls. I got to sit. Go over here. Pour me some of this goodness. Like, you know, I should have got me a cup. A cup and put it over in there. Some chili with some potatoes, y'all. Mm, one more scoop because I ain't, ain't gonna front for the camera. Mmm, look at that. Okay, you all. So, this is what I'm about to do with it. Mm, that look, I can't wait to taste this, y'all. So, I bought some uh, tortilla strips, tri color restaurant favorites. 
I'm gonna put a little bit over in there, you know what I'm saying? Get a handful, maybe, you know. And I'm just gonna scoop them up, put them over in my bowl, like, you know, I gotta show you how to, you know, how to, how that just looks so wholesome and good. Hold up, I ain't gonna front for the camera, I ain't gonna front. This is a, this a, this a little, a little bit more, right? Okay, okay, okay. And so then what you do is you get that vegan Parmesan on them. Yeah, and you, and you do it like this, y'all. You see, it's, it's more than one way to skin a cat. You know what I'm saying? Tina got her hand out. But you know what? I'm going to give her the honors. Thank you. It's on you, boo. Mm hmm? Ha. Ah. Mm. Hot you see that? You hear that? She said that's fresh out the pot. That's fresh out the pot. And so I'm gonna go ahead. She got her bowl and I got mine. She got hers and I got mine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is so good. And this is good. Mm. It's perfect. It's spicy. It's a little bit. It's not a little bit sweet. It's spicy. A little bit spicy. A little bit sweet. A little bit chilly. It's chilly. You know what I'm saying? Let me taste this. Uh, hold on. Let me bite into this. My uh, sweet potato here. Mhm. Mm it ain't mushy, and it ain't hot. Mm, mm. Yeah. I think I did it again. I think I did it again. I think I did it again, you all. This is the perfect weather for a chili, especially being in Michigan. Michigan is bipolar weather, yeah. We ain't got into the bipolar part yet. It's still acting like it's fall and it got some sense, you know what I'm saying? But. This is the perfect day for chili, you know what I'm saying? And vegan chili at that. Every time I eat it, y'all, every time I cook a meal, a vegan meal, um, I do not feel guilty. Mm. Why would you feel guilty when you're doing right by yourself? Right. Think about that. I'm doing right by myself. Because when I was feeling guilty before, I knew I was doing myself wrong. Remember that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, yes, this is follow the recipe. I want you all to watch the video. Um, y'all say, y'all, some of y'all put the recipe at the bottom or let us know the recipe. I, I want y'all to look at the video and you will see the recipe because I want you to watch the video. And also, I don't measure nothing. I don't measure nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ended up using all my beans. Uh, I ended up putting more um, grinded uh, mushrooms in it because I switched the pot over and I felt like, you know what, let me just go and get these beans out the way. I don't want to be putting beans back in the refrigerator or freezer or whatever. I don't feel like doing all of that. So like I said, I'm going to make a big old pot and uh, I mean, they eat what they eat and the rest go on meal prep and the freezer. You know what I'm saying? And nothing gets waste. But until then, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for another vegan dish uh, because I got something else coming up, okay? And uh, what else? Uh, la, 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 la. Saturday night, 6 p.m. Prayer life. Hey! Peace out in Jesus' name.